Well, Jimmy and the family are all worried about Tia's aggressive behavior and do not want her around her son when she's in that particular state. Now, Tia says, look, her family is brainwashing her son against her. I'm living with my grandmother because it's not a stable environment to be living with my mom. I would say that I felt unsafe. You could obviously tell there was like drugs involved because she was never there. I worry about my mom because she could end up dead or in prison because of the actions that she's taken. I definitely believe that my mother has made up some things that are not true. For instance, a few years back, she said that she saw three babies on the side of the road that were dead and they had their mouths zipped up. That's definitely like one of the things that you can tell aren't true. I for sure think she needs help. I don't want to sit with my grandma. Your son seems to think that you sometimes get really agitated and aggressive with him. Is that true? I used to. I used to. I've learned how to control my anger quite a bit in the last three and a half years. I've gone to lots of classes just to make sure that I was under control as much as possible. But I was not a bad mother. I was a very good mother. And the things that come out of his mouth are not true. Here's a statement from Tia's son. He says, and I quote, I feel like my mom is not in her right mind. You can definitely tell there are some mental issues. I tried to see her a couple of weeks ago. I felt like there were some drugs involved with her actions. She was acting very aggressive towards me. She would be yelling at the top of her lungs. I can't believe you did this to me. Now, that was, he said, that's a couple of weeks ago. Right. Were you yelling at him at the top of your lungs? Absolutely of, not. So he's lying. Yes, he is. You had spent some time with Melanie, right? Mm hmm I spent like a couple days with her prior to Dylan being there. And you're, you're Melanie, right? Yes, sir. What happened on August 18th? She made the comment that she had no hope left. And she said that she wanted to kill her daddy, her mama, Donna, Aisha, and herself. So I made the executive decision to go to the magistrate in North Carolina and do involuntary commitment. And she was taken to a facility. She started talking about killing her entire family. Yes, sir. I had made probably comments about them two women, never about this man nor my sister. I have never spoke of murdering, killing either one of those people. What I said was some bad things that I would want to take her out and take myself out. But that's like under my breath. I'm like, God, I just want to kill her and then kill myself. Things like that. I've lost my whole family, you guys. Lost everybody. I have no one. You pushed us away. As I look around, I see a lot of people here. Uh -huh. You say you've lost them, but I see her here, I see her here, I see her here, I see, I see a lot of people that are here. But what reasons are they here for? I know why they're here. What reasons are they here for? They're yeah. here for you.